Begin by safely jacking up the car and securing it on jack stands at all four factory jacking points. If you need assistance with this, please follow the link at the end of the video. You'll need to get under the center of the car to gain access. Shown here is the rear oxygen center in place for Mercedes-Benz with an M104 engine, as indicated by the green arrow. This oxygen sensor is easy to access and can be removed with a simple 22 millimeter wrench. The front one is not so easy. Shown here is the top of the front mounted oxygen sensor, green arrow. As you can see, it's a tight fit in there. What makes it even more difficult is the angle at which the sensor is mounted. It faces into the exhaust stream right at the merge collector between both header banks. This angle will prevent you from fitting a standard wrench over the sensor. This is the 22 mm crowfoot wrench you will need in order to loosen and remove the front mounted O2 sensor. Slide the crow's foot wrench over the sensor and use a ratchet with an extension as shown here. It's tricky to get it all at the right angle that will allow you to loosen the sensor, but it is possible. Just take your time. Note, if your transmission mount has failed, there will be almost no way to get the wrench on the sensor. Just something to keep in mind if it seems like you can't reach the sensor. See our article on transmission mount replacement for more information or further help by following the link at the end of this video. On our project car, the transmission mount had failed, causing the whole transmission to sit about 2 inches lower. Once the mount was replaced, it became evident at how to get the crow's foot wrench over the sensor. Here is a shot of the oxygen sensor being removed from the side. As you can see here, you'll need to reach the ratchet over the exhaust pipe and then fit the extension into the crow's foot wrench. Once removed, take the new sensor and carefully thread it into the exhaust. Torque down the sensor to 40 foot-pounds and plug the connection in after routing the new cable along the clips holding it to the car. There will be a small amount of anti-seize on the threads on the sensor. Make sure not to get it on the actual sensor itself. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.